What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Aaron here. It is Monday the 28th of April and guess what we're talking about today? We know. Trust me. That's right. We're talking all things DeFi and AI agents, guys. Look, I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. It is the start of Token 2049 Dubai. It is the start of a very, very crazy week for crypto and Web3, guys. The events already started this weekend, and now they are absolutely going for it for the next five days, guys. There is tons of AI agent and DeFi events that I'm personally going to, and of course, I'm hosting. Guys, of course, we're hosting DeFiCon at a warehouse for that's happening tomorrow. We have over two and a half thousand registrations. Thank you guys so much for all of your, you know, all of your enthusiasm and for signing up, guys. And also, obviously, of course, to our sponsors as well. We have some amazing speakers from the likes. Of, I mean, we have Vader, Vader Research, Vader AI, we have Eliza OS, we have Virtuals, we have tons of the top, top quality projects in our space, guys, coming to deliver a fantastic show. So thanks, thanks for you guys who have signed up. For those who haven't, don't worry. If you can't make it, we are recording all of the on-screen, on-stage content, guys, and we'll be putting that onto YouTube probably the following week, okay? So you don't miss out. Savior of the Cybernet. All right, guys, let's get into the markets and see what is going on here. So, look, I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. It looks like to me that the market is holding its gains very well here. Fantastic to see. Um, just getting into some of the projects here, guys, we can see um, Grafane here, 135% up this week. Like, the AI Agentic Solana Super App is well and truly back. Guys, 135% up, $73 million market cap. It's fantastic. Broken into the top five now of DeFi coins. It was only uh, a week ago or so when it was, you know, around $32 million market cap, guys. Fantastic to see. You know, Grafane was getting a lot of kind of, you know, hate on social media. What's the point of a token? You know, why does it need a token? Blah, 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 blah. Now look at it. Who's laughing now? The Grafane token holders are laughing now. <laughs> Guys, Hey Anon is also still up 40% this week. Fantastic to see. Not much movement really over the weekend, but holding its gains well, which is also just as important, to be honest with you. Um, moving further down here, we have Spectral with their Lux framework, now up 84.6%, guys, doing very well. And the thing is, like, you know, even though these prices look like they're high because they're up 100% of the week, we're down 90%, don't forget. So this is good. Momentum is building, but don't be scared to still buy, you know, at these kind of levels. I mean, yes, we might take a dip. We might. And that's why you should always dollar cost average in. We're still far, far below where we were, you know, Christmas, you know, of time, Christmas, December, November time when things were really pumping. So don't worry, guys, about rotating into these coins now that you've seen some movement. If anything, use it as a confirmation that, you know, now is a good time to kind of start reallocating if you haven't already, that is. Um, going further down, guys, we can see here Orbit is up 25.1% today. Obviously, they have a major rebrand. Uh, they have this new kind of robot looking mascot and um, look up 25% today, still down 14% this week, however. Going further down here, we have Cleaver. Cleaver up 78.1% this week, a big rise, and a newcomer, I believe, to the DeFi AI agent uh, category on CoinGecko. Um, but look, guys, Velvet also. Velvet Unicorn by Virtuals up 176.2% this week. A big, big rise. But again, at such a small valuation, these things can go up and down very quickly based on some whale movement and that's something we shouldn't forget about now let's move on into ai agents and see if there's any movers and shakers here for this week look virtuals and ai 16z both being up by double digit growth is great to see just on the on the daily guys on the weekly they're up both of them 90 to 114 percent unbelievable stuff ai 16z obviously have had, did have some issues with their auto.fun launchpad but have now since rectified those and that seems to now finally be running smoothly now let's not forget guys they have a buyback um a mechanism within the the launchpad itself which we'll talk about a little bit later that will then provide provide AI16Z with a um, with a with buy pressure basically now that that's out um, and say, same you know of course with virtuals protocol with people that are committing their virtuals for the new Genesis launchpad projects as well so expect to see AI16Z and virtuals continue to rise um, obviously there's still a massive difference of market cap between the two I mean AI16Z is finally above 300 million dollars again but still far far away from virtuals protocol with 818 million dollars it's you know it's two and a half times the price of AI16Z so you know make of that what you will I mean virtuals looks like it's climbing back to a billion dollar market cap guys would you consider that to be something somewhat overvalued? That's a question. I mean, obviously, Virtuals is the darling, I think, of the AI agent ecosystem at the moment. Their Genesis Launchpad is really exciting. I know lots of VCs are starting to message them and get excited about it. You know, is AI16Z fairly priced at two and a half times less than Virtuals? I guess that's the question that I'm asking you to think about today. Uh, we're going to be speaking more about Autofun and, and uh, Eliza OS a little bit later on on the show, guys. Let's keep uh, momentum still head down here. AIXPT holding 78.1% in the last week. Fantastic again to see. $131 million market cap, way above that kind of $100 million threshold that it was kind of stuck with. Great to see. Obviously, AIXPT is working on the uh, their new terminal, which will be able to provide you a whole scrape and analysis of crypto Twitter within 30 minutes. Venice up 15% today as well. Now broken up $100 million market cap. Not surprised there at all. And I think privacy is going to keep becoming, you know, a, a buzzword. Not even a buzzword, guys. It's going to keep. It's going to keep becoming a reason every time that there's, a, you know, an, an issue with um, privacy. 
you know, with data leaks, you know, when it comes to OpenAI or any of those, it feeds into Venice Token. It feeds into Venice Token every single time. All right, guys, ARK as well is up 13.7% this week, 100% this week, guys, 100% this week, 13% today, which basically means the three biggest frameworks you know, with virtuals, AI16Z and RIG are pretty much all done a 2x this week. I mean, it's a clear sign to me that this space is raging back. And would you look at that game, 228.5%. This week, guys, we've been calling this at a $16 million market cap just a week or 10 days ago. And now look at it, $55 million market cap. Fantastic, guys. I really hope you bought in. We've been highlighting game on this channel a lot over the last few weeks. Every time I'm doing an AI agent sweep, I'm always telling you that game looks like a good, a good project to buy because of the ACP. Uh, agent commerce protocol that's coming out on virtuals as game is a lot of the frameworks that are, are being launched there from the, the projects are using game framework and look at that 55 million market cap great job guys please do take profits um sensibly other ai also up 72.8 percent this week of course the guys over at hollow world good to see and vader can again another one that we've been talking about a lot up 184.2 percent this week 21.7 percent today another one that we've been very bullish on the channel and if you have followed our calls you'll be doing very well so look guys very positive very happy to see that our favorite projects here are giving you guys outsized returns in the market. Let's get into the news. All right, guys, so we can now finally talk about Auto.Fun. The Eliza OS uh, team now seems to have fixed the issues that it was facing last week, and now we can explore the platform together. So let's get into it. Let's see what this is all about, guys, because obviously Shaw, uh, the main guy behind Eliza OS and AI16Z, has been very excited about this. So let's see what all the excitement's about, guys. So look, this is what you'll see if you go to Auto.Fun. As you'll see here, there's a number of projects that have been launched. These are, you know, automatically set on news. So you can see the market caps here are very, very small, guys. Some of them, like, ridiculously small. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a bunch of projects on here. What, what I actually like to use use is this uh, this part this button here on the right hand side so look guys this actually gives you a very clear okay which projects are you know got substantial market cap the number of holders the 24-hour volumes so you can start to actually see which projects to, to basically make attention to, to, to take attention to if you look at Eli 5 here this seems to be a meme coin project sitting around seven hundred thousand dollars market cap 1.6 thousand holders successfully bonded um, I'm not sure <laughs> what's happening here with a bonding curve guys it does look cool but um, I think that should all be a hundred percent because these have actually bonded um, and then we have Casper the dog here as well which is obviously another meme coin now, it does look like a lot of these projects launching on Auto.Fun are meme coins. Hopefully, Auto.Fun doesn't just turn into a big pump fund. Like, it actually, like, does have quality AI projects launching on it. I haven't seen that yet, based on what I've seen down here. Um, anyways, this is Eli5. So, this is, the, this is the project that has the largest market cap currently that's been launched on Auto.Fun so far. As it said, it's been around eight days or so. And as you can see here, uh, it actually flew all the way up to three point around 3.4 million before coming right down again uh, to around 700k. does seem to be, you know, finding some foundation here. But yeah, basically this is a meme coin, guys. This is a meme coin. Let's uh, call it for what it is. And um, let's actually get into like what is it about the auto.fund mechanics that you actually need to know about, about this platform. Because I think that's the most important thing right now. Look, honestly, based on the projects that I can see on the platform, there's nothing really to write home about, guys. There's nothing that exciting. I'm sure the Eliza OS AI 16Z team have some quality projects coming. But in the meantime, let's get into like what actually makes auto.fund interesting in the first place. Now, it's very clear that, you know, AI 16Z themselves, you know, when they launched their token, they did a fair launch. And you know how a lot of businesses, they, they find problems and then they actually solve them themselves and come up with a new product. I think this is similar to what happened with AI16Z here. So they say here that they launched their token the right way with a fair launch, open to the public, allowing anyone to participate from day one. And it was a massive success in that regard in terms of interest. But obviously, it's not so good for their team if their team doesn't have that many tokens and therefore can't actually pay the team. Because a lot of projects obviously become revenue generating after 6, 12, sometimes even up to 18 to 24 months. So in the meantime, the token is used to dump to pay people's salaries. Now, of course, that's not always the best approach because then you're dumping on the heads of your community, which you've tried so hard to actually have. So then what's the answer to this? I'm sure in a team at, um, you know, at, at Auto.Fund think that they found the answer to it, okay? So look, as they say here, they, are not, they were not happy with the current way that tokens were being launched. Of course, there's the fair launch, or alternatively, there's the you know low float, high FDV launches that everyone knows about that you know, prices out regular users and just basically gets VCs to dump on retail. So they thought there was a better way, and that's what came with Auto.Fun. Okay, so they designed Auto.Fun to support the entire life cycle of projects from inception to launch and beyond. So what does that actually mean? Well, they have this bonding curve mechanism that you just saw in the previous screen that lets teams secure up to 50% of their token supply before market listing, avoiding the pitfalls of a pure fair launch while ensuring community access isn't gated by insiders. Look, guys, they're basically allowing people to own 50% of their project, which will obviously give the, 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 the project owners more responsibility, more ownership of the project. You know, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, in, honestly, I mean, if a team has 50% of the tokens, in some ways, it's obviously good because they're incentivized to keep growing the token. Uh, in other ways, you know, um, 
is that a little bit too lopsided at 50%? Now, obviously it says up to 50%, 50% would be the maximum. They also provide here a no code agent builder. So auto.fund allows creators to launch agents alongside their token with something called Fleek, okay? And that basically allows you to connect an existing agent to their token in just a couple of clicks. Um, that feature is still, you know, is, is available now on their website. And they have this AI generated marketing so you can create tokens, content and assets from a single prompt. And the idea, one of the key ideas behind Auto.Fun is this liquidity NFT mechanism, okay? And that basically ensures that the project is earning ongoing revenue from trading fees, reducing reliance on token sales to fund development. So basically what they were saying was, is that projects were just dumping their tokens on retail to pay people's salaries, whereas this, actually this liquidity NFT will allow the project to earn a portion of trading fees and which they can obviously then uh, use to pay their team instead of dumping their own project token. Okay, guys, so basically project teams are getting rewarded for creating a market and creating a reason for people to buy and sell their token. So that's where the flywheel comes around. Um, they go on to say here a little bit more. They go on to say um, about some of the projects that are coming up here. So they've got a make, fight, great, an AI-powered social agent brawl chain and the algorithm will battle it out on X. Allura Network, which is quite well known, launching Squid Laura, leveraging the Allura Network's predictive inferences and advanced trading signals to manage a portfolio. There's Dr. Pepe, which is a medical AI agent. There's King... ZZ, King Shy, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, guys. And you can unlock exclusive person community access and Compute 3, which is something we've spoken about before on this channel, is one of their hero projects for the uh, platform before they launched. And um, yeah, look, guys, they're basically explaining further about how Auto.Fun feeds the flywheel for AI16Z holders. So this is an important point for AI16Z holders. Like, yeah, this is great, but what's in it for us? Well, a portion of swap fees of graduated agent tokens is rooted into open market buybacks of AI16Z, okay? On top of that, there's a secondary pool coming. So there's going to be a secondary pool, which is on one side AI16Z and on the other side the agent token and so they'll be paired together and of course you know the revenue that's generated will then actually go back to um, AI16Z buybacks okay guys so they'll be paired with the very agent tokens here as it says the result is a compounding loop where agent every launch swap and routing path strengthens AI16Z's liquidity and steadily channels platform value back to long-term holders okay guys so look they have this new mechanism to stop teams dumping on their own people to allow project teams to actually have a longer runway based on actual you know velocity of trading uh, using these NFT mechanisms with Radium. And that's a key point as well, is that when these um, when these agents actually graduate, when these projects graduate, they will go directly onto Radium, which of course is a very, very deep liquidity book uh, for them to tap into. And look guys, it, I mean, to be fair to them, they've obviously clearly thought about how to best launch a project for the good of the project health longer term and um, to give it enough runway to succeed. Um, these are obviously issues that I think AI16Z face themselves, and which is why they've tried to solve them. Now, if we just jump into this next blog post here, guys, it gives the current mechanics a little bit more detail. So there's the primary Solana and agent token pool. When agent token graduates from auto.fund to radium, the liquidity is burned and it creates that liquidity NFT that we spoke about. And that's paired with Sol in, on radium. And basically what this does, it allows a frictionless UX for traders. It allows a seamless integration while existing Solana DEX infrastructure. And it allows deep initial liquidity ensured via highly collaborated launch parameters, guys. And that liquidity NFT, of course, is for project creators. Each project that launches on auto.fund is issued a radium liquidity NFT that allows that NFT is a value capture NFT. Projects earn fees on every swap of their token. That goes back to the nft to the nft holder it encourages builders to launch agents that provide sustained utility of course and these nfts are you know completely permissionless are composable and tradable across the whole solana ecosystem guys okay and then just again if you're so if you're an ai 16z holder 10 percent of the burned lp which is collected in seoul is set aside when tokens graduate and the fees generated are used to buy back ai 16z from the open market okay guys and then they have this secondary pool that's coming which will be the ai 16z coin and the agent token coin and the pair acquired the pair acquires AI16Z from the buybacks with the agent tokens whose fees generated the buybacks, guys. Now, I know that's a lot to take in there. It is a lot. I realize that now. But I guess I, I guess what's better here is to look at this chart. Okay, let's try that. User swaps sole agent token in, in the pool. The LP fees collected, 50% sole, 50% agent tokens. The platform buys AI16Z with the sole, retains these fees on the agent token side, and the form and grow AI16Z, and that forms or grows the AI16Z pool. Well, that's going to make this a little easier. So look, I won't really go back much more into it than that. Like it is a lot to kind of talk about and take in. But the general gist of this is that AI16Z have built a flywheel effect with their auto.fund launchpad that will obviously have a major impact on the AI16Z token if it's a success and they can launch projects on that auto.fund that actually gets a lot of trading volume. Now, will they actually be able to do that? Well, that's waiting to be seen. Look, we've seen the Virtuals launchpad actually do very, very well from the off guys. It has had many projects do 10 to 50x. They've clearly taken a, a lead in the AI agent launchpad race, but Eliza OS should absolutely not be ruled out. They have a fantastic team. They have a big community. They have a lot of connections, guys, that they can tap into. And I'm sure they're cooking some great launches on auto.fun as we speak right now. So it'll be interesting, guys, to actually see how 
the next few projects go on auto.fund how you know how whether we will see auto.fund projects actually match or better some of the launches on the Ven virtuals genesis launchpad or not guys but look yes my only comment would be you know the, the, the eliza team kind of steer away a little bit from the meme coins focus on the ai agent tokens that's what i would like to see guys um and um yeah like we need to start seeing some projects on there that actually launch on auto.fund and do are a big success like i said i'm so sure and the team are working on it right now that's auto.fund guys in a nutshell you can feel free to go and check it out auto.fund head over there yourself you can launch your new coin very easily if you wish to do so um and uh, yeah guys we'll be keeping you right up to date with anything related to auto.fund and its latest updates okay guys next up we're going to be talking about the virtuals at genesis launchpad okay guys because those projects have been given an outsized return 10 20 30 40 50 x okay and basically one of them that launched yesterday as you can see here bios was up 120 percent yesterday at three million dollar fdv and now the pre-sale investors got in at a hundred thousand fdv guys okay so that what's that? It's a 30x no lockup no vesting if you're not paying attention to genesis launchpad yet why not what are you doing get involved now stake those points make those points guys i've been telling you for weeks to do so on this channel okay okay if you say so now look if you need a little bit of help with that you're in the right place but before we get into that vader has made a very helpful post as to exactly how many the minimum points you needed to get into all of the launches so far to get the 0.5 percent allocation from previous deals okay so the 0.5 percent allocation guys obviously is the maximum allocation you can get and that would be 566 virtuals okay so now as you can see here holly which did really well by the way it was 820,000 points required that was a really really hyped launch guys and then all the way down to Tian with only 6,000. Now play, play actually was an issue and we'll talk about that in a moment. But actually what you can see here is that just taking into account these points is not enough because the, obviously the points are inflationary. There's not there's more points coming into supply every day and there's not enough projects to be burning that much points every day. So the points are inflationary, meaning that these points are not the points that's going to be next week, the week after, the week after. They're going to be keep getting higher and higher, guys, which is why it's really important that you are trading agents, that you are, you know, yapping uh, for virtuals and submitting those yaps and doing everything that you can in your power to get more points. You can also get more points by staking Vader as well. Okay, guys, so as Vader says here, it's a better way is actually to measure and compare points is to calculate a cutoff as of a percentage of circulating points because the points are so inflationary. Okay, so for Holly, it was 0.1 eight percent of all the supply of virgin points you can see the other uh, calculations here as well guys um, but basically as you can see in general based on today's circulating point supply around 350,000 to 1 million points maximum is what you need for the 0.5 percent supply now i've been holding virtuals for a long time i'm only getting three four five hundred points a day okay guys so that's just not gonna cut it it's not gonna cut it you need to be an active participant in the ecosystem if you want to make this money on the ai agent launches now there was a really really helpful tweet here today posted by everything empty they're a core contributor at virtual so they know what they're talking about so high level design principles for virgin points. This is exactly what you need to do, guys. You've got a pen and paper, write it down. Okay, shit. Holding agent tokens is good. And remember, it's any agent tokens, not virtual. Holding agent tokens is good. Buy agent tokens is even better. Participate in Genesis and HODL is amazing. Participate in Genesis, HODL, and buy more is super epic. If you cheat, so that means if you sell Genesis, you're penalized. Hold virtual stake value is good. Create content and submit the type form. That's yapping that I just told you about. It's very good. So this is all you need to know, guys, really, in terms of getting those sweet virgin points. I think everybody in this space should be doing everything in their power right now to get as many points as they can, given the returns that we've seen. That's enough on that, guys. There was actually a rug, the first rug of... Uh, the Virtuals Genesis Launchpad, unfortunately, over the weekend, there was this project here called Play Game AI. I hope none of you guys were affected. Uh, as you can see, Play Game AI launch will be permanently failed. There is a compensation plan in place. Uh, and actually, I think I want to shout out the Virtuals Protocol team here because they've dealt with it amazingly. Like, look, just an hour ago, they tweeted out here that all participants who engage in the Play Game AI during Genesis launch will have fully refunded both their points and their virtual. Also, those participants who sent virtual directly to Play Game Wallet has also been compensated in full for the amount that they sent. This is fantastic, guys. I think Virtual is really looking after its community here. Obviously, it doesn't have to do that, uh, but it has. Um, and it's a shame that there's those extractors around that are trying to scam people. But look, guys, this is crypto. You know, this is not Virtual's protocol fault. They've compensated everyone really well. And uh, hats off to Virtual's protocol for, you know, basically looking after its community in this in this situation. Now, look, guys, there's going to be a bunch more launches, of course, happening this week. There's also, you know, a bunch of projects from the winners from the Virtual Hackathon still to come as well, guys. So do save up those sweet points, stack those points, and make sure you can get in the next 10 to 30x launch. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me once again for your daily dose of DeFi and AI agents, guys. Look, the market is simmering hot. Momentum is building and new AI agent launches are providing 10 to 50 X's, guys. OK, so get prepared. Lock in. Do not click off this video and get on with your day. What are we supposed to do? 
grab your virgin points do what you can secure the bags the markets are back you've been watching my channel for months now every single day monday to friday well done it means that you are in front of 99.9 .9 of the of the whole industry and DeFi and ai agents now's the time to profit from that remember we called game at 13 14 million market cap it's now up to around 60. you know we've been calling vader as well doing very very well We've been calling a lot of these penny stocks almost, and they are now performing in the market, guys. So watch this channel, tune in every single day for your daily dose of DeFi and AI agents, and do not let this opportunity pass. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.